birthday grade twos. I hope you're ready for some comprehension. So grab your booklets and a pencil and let's get started. All right, grade twos, let's get started with some comprehension. So it says to think about how the passage is like other stories you know. So we're gonna read this through and think about how the passage is like other stories that you know. So long ago and far away, there lived a princess named Atlanta. She was very beautiful. She was very strong too. Atlanta loved to run. She could run fast. She could run faster than the men. When, Ad when men asked Atlanta to marry them, she said no. She liked to be free. She liked to hunt and spend time in the woods. One day, Atlanta said that she would marry any man who could run faster than her. When the big race began, Atlanta took off. She flew like an arrow. She was winning the race. One of the men in the race had a plan. He carried three apples made of gold. During the race, he threw the apples in Atlanta's path. Three times during the race, Atlanta stopped. She stopped to pick up a golden apple. The clever man ran past her. He won the race and became Atlanta's husband. All right, so that's a bit of a silly story, but it is, um, it's, is it like another story that you might know? Do you think of another story about a clever character winning a race? What comes to mind for me is the story of the tortoise and the hare. So the tortoise and the hare, the hare thinks that he's got, the, got it down, right? He thinks he's winning, but he gets so confident in that that he doesn't try and he takes a break and he goes, oh, I have makes a big deal about being a winner, and then the tortoise wins. So I'm gonna go with tortoise and the hare. Tor, toys, and the hare. No, let me just double check my spelling there. <laughs> tortoise and the hare, because tortoise is one of those tricky words Oh, I have it correct. Oh, good. So my spelling is correct. Tor, toys. It's spelled tor, toys, but it's tortoise and the hare. All right. It's tricky when we have that many vowels playing together because we have the O, the I, and the E are all playing together to make the tortoise sound. All right. Re read the questions and fill in the bubble next to the best answer. I see it says correct answer. Let's say best answer. I always say to pick the best answer. Okay. So who is the passage about? A husband? A strong man, a fast runner, or a man who hunts. Now, this passage, it was about Atlanta, but it's about her finding a husband or trying to find a husband. So I guess that would be the best one, or a fast runner. Um, well, it is about Atlanta. I'm just trying to think. What do you think? I think it could be either. I think Atlanta is the main idea of the passage, and she is a, a fast runner. So let's go with a fast runner. All right. Atlanta's husband is very angry. You know, clever. Yeah. Funny. Well, we didn't see that in the pack in the passage or sad. Uh, not really. So let's go with B. Clever. All right. Number three. When does the passage take place? Well, it starts saying long ago and far away. So I'm going to go with long ago. All right, Atlanta loses the race because she has to run in the woods, men shoot fast arrows, she wants golden apples, or strong hunters stop her. So if you read up there, one of the men had a plan. He carried three apples made of gold. He threw them in his past three times during the race. Atlanta stopped. She stopped to pick up a golden apple, and the clever man ran past her. He won the race and became Atlanta's husband. Okay? So he, she wants the golden apples and that's why she stops and that's why she loses the race. All right, I hope that that was helpful to you and I will see you back here again on Friday for more comprehension. That video was helpful if you were working through your comprehension today. Um, anyway, have a great Thursday and I'll see you again tomorrow for more comprehension.